okay, this is the basic level of mole cancer. What we are here to study is stoichiometry and mole ratio. So let's start off. Okay, all equations are basically balanced differently. Example, ammonia, 1 is the 3 is the 2. For reaction of uh, hydrochloric acid and calcium hydroxide, you have 2 is to 1, is to 1 is to 2. These are all balanced differently. Similarly, for magnesium, magnesium is Mg, 1, 2, 1, 1. Okay, so based on all the balance equation, what we can conclude is we get a certain ratio. So this ratio, the coefficient here, the number in front, will give us a ratio, and the ratio will be 1 is to 3 is to 2. For the second one, let's look at this. It is 2 is to 1 is to 1 is to 2. This is basically the mole ratio. The mole ratio simply tells us what is the amount of mole that is required to react for reactants to react, and this in turn will produce 1 is to 2, 1 uh, mole of calcium hydrochloride, and 2 mole of H2O. So similarly, it's the same. 1 is to 3 will re react, and it will produce 2 mole of this. Now, this is the um, universal uh, ratio for this particular equation. So each equation will have their own uh, ratio. So let's look at this. In this equation, you have magnesium, one mole of react, uh, magnesium reacting with 2 to produce 1 is to 1. So if I have 1.5 mole of H2, this will give me how many mole? So how do we look at this? We look at the mole. In the ratio itself, the rule is 2 will produce 1. 2 moles of HNO3 will produce 1 mole of MgNO3. So if you have 1.5 mole, it means 1.5 divided by 2 mole, which will be equal to 0 0.75 mole. So basically, you will get half the amount. This is 2 is to 1, so you get half the amount. Now, if I have 4 moles of Mg, how many moles of MgNO3 would that give me? So let's look at the universal ratio again, general ratio. So if you have 1 is to 1, 1 mole of magnesium produces 1 mole of uh, magnesium nitrate, based on the general ratio, 4 moles will give you 1 is to 1, so therefore 4 is to 4 moles of MgNO3 bracket 2. So answer is 4. So with that, it is very simple. So every equation is different. What first step you do is put the general ratios up, and then based on what you have, you do a calculation. If you have 2 is to 1, then you have 1.5 more here. This is basically half. Okay?